now, the Sigliano Brothers interview is at theaofchannel.com. How do you maintain authenticity uh, in your filmmaking? Ooh. Uh, can you clarify authenticity? Because I can think of a lot <laughs> can of Can you put it BSA in a answers. sentence? <laughs> can I have then a, what is this, a spelling bee? I don't, yeah, but no, I don't, I don't know. Mean, find your own style, your own authentic way of making films. I think it's, it's two ways. One is naturally what you're inclined towards liking, you know, and those can be yeah. a lot of different types of films. And then as you actually do it, if you have to spend four months on something, you're only going to do what you really, really want to put those blood, sweat, and tears to. I mean, we like a lot of the other types of uh, genres or films that we could have made, but we chose this because that's what you wanted to go through with. So if you're going to spend that much time on it, it better be something that you truly believe in. It always starts with the script. I mean, it's a cliche, but you know, everybody says write what you know, which is, I, I think, part of the whole authenticity thing. It's, you know, find something that, that a part of you can be out there. And that could be spaceships and outer world, which you don't know about, but find something in the material. We happen to write it too, but even if it's someone else's, find something you connect with. Otherwise, I don't think you can be authentic if, if there's not a part of you that's gonna leave an imprint, because I mean, you know, everything's been done a thousand times. It's just kind of repackaging and rebranding, and it's uh, one of Alex's favorite mentors called it recombinant DNA. And yeah, you know, basically just take. It's like fashion; yeah. it comes around. But just find something in yourself you really connect with, and that will will make it your own. There's a really cool theory, which is recombinant DNA, and you could look some of the great films that were really original, but all they really were were one or two or three things that you just mix together and then you take that piece of yourself, you sort of stir it up and that's you now. You know, it can be like, oh, I'm gonna take uh, 70s, you know, with French New Wave a uh, little bit and mix it with some of my own stuff and you get Pulp Fiction Reservoir Dogs. So that's all it really is. So for this particular film, we took um, some spaghetti western. We mixed it in with a little peck and paw and a little bit of sort of John Woo-ish, just a little bit. And I guess sort of some of our own personal encounters with what New York City is, and that's what we got the Midnight Bounty with. That's great. And how has uh, New York influenced the way you make movies? New York, honestly, is, is a great place to shoot films. because it's a great one, canvas. It's you, you, everything. Right. You can't there. point, I mean, you can point anywhere in 360 degrees and there's a great shot. We happen to shoot upstate by, in Bear Mountain State Park and by uh, West Point. But I guess the New York sensibility is, unlike where we are here in LA, it's a little harder, it's a little tougher. There's a faster sensibility about things, um, and, and that can't help but affect your point of view on things, and that can't help but affect your work. So, I mean, we love it. It's, it's, it's fast, 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 go, 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 go. Um, and it's got a lot of edge to it, and it's one of the reasons why New York, and you know, great filmmakers have come out of New York, great actors have come out of New York, and... Um, there's a and, lot of culture yeah. in New York City. Yeah. There's a lot of diversity. I mean, it is the melting pot of America, and you have no shortage of inspiration. Material. Material. Go hang out on 7th Ave for 10 minutes. It's like, whoa, okay, that's crazy, uh, but that's a cool idea. So it, it, you, you don't have a lack of material living and working in New York. There's always going to be a story to be told in New York City. It's, I personally believe, the greatest city in the United States. Well, I can't wait to see the next stories you guys tell. Can't wait to awesome. show them. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. It.